with me, if you will, to Matthew 6. not only the blessings of the Lord, but the increase in everything else. When we look at Matthew 6, there are three particular things he tells us. So let's pick it up in verse 1. It says, take heed that you do not your arms before men to be seen of them, otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. That word no reward is important because how I many you know we're coming into the season of reward. But without getting a lot into it today, we're getting ready to enter now into the feast of in gathering. It's the harvest time. It is when God rewards you for your labor. It is when God shows out for you the most. Mm. Did you hear that? Yeah. So he says, take no, take heed that you do not your arms before men, for you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when you do as the arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues or in the streets, that they may glorify, may have, may have glory of men, but verily I say unto you, they have what? There again, no reward. You got to make a decision in this season. Am I going to be rewarded or not? Note that the reward is not based on God. Oh, come on, y'all. Huh? God said, where I am right now is not based on me. I'm consistent. Yes. But you need to be consistent. Watch this. He says, they have their reward. But when thou doest all, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand is doing. See, this is the season you can't tell everybody your next move. Huh? This ain't the season to talk a lot. Yeah. Amen. This is the season to conceal your next move. Why? He says that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father will see it in secret himself. Did y'all catch that? God says, I'm evaluating what I see. I'm evaluating what I see. So arms, that word arms is given. God says, I'm evaluating what I see. Well, God, what are you looking at? He says, I'm looking at your ear. 
Doubt it ain't no money star money. They have to tell you what's in the book. I'm evaluating what you give it. What is it you're releasing that will get you a reward? So some are looking for a reward that they're not going to get. But if you had read and did it the way I said do it, there's automatic reward. Everybody don't have to know. And another song says, everybody ought to know. No, everybody ought not know this. Huh? Because what are you looking for? His reward. He said, I will reward. Well, let's drop on down to eight. I mean five. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. But verily I say unto you, there it is again. See, if everybody can see what you're doing in this season, that's your reward. If everybody know what you're doing, that's your reward. You ain't about to this morning. See, the issue is not what man can do for you, but what God can do for you. What we do, we do as unto the Lord. Come on, y'all. Let's finish it. But when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and the Father which is see if your secret shall what? There it is. God says, I'm getting ready to reward you. But understand that the reward is based on what was done in secret. Huh? Are, we, are you with me? That's what the scripture said. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be ye not therefore like unto them, for you, for your father, knoweth the thing, look at this, y'all, your father knoweth the things you have need of before you ask him. Now that's another verse that says, but you still got to ask. But God says, I already know where you are. I already know what you need. Yes. And I have no problem rewarding you. Right, right. He says, after this manner, therefore pray in. Pray to you, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us uh, our debts as we forgive our debtors. And Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Yeah. Now watch this. How I handle others determines how God handles you. If I can't let others go, God says I can't let you go. Come on, y'all. See, right this here, the essence of what I'm saying, we're going to learn to use it all, but you got to use it all according to the directions and the instructions God has already given. Right. Come on, God. For if ye forgive men that trespass, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not their trespass, neither shall your Father forgive yours. 16. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. But verily I say unto you, there it is, they got their reward. Right. Right. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto your father, which again, what? See it in secret. And thy father will see him in secret, shall what? Reward thee 
So he says, your giving, your praying, your fasting. When you use it all, I will reward you. See, here's the essence of all of this. God said, don't tell the secret, let me tell it. God says, don't let everybody know what you're working with. Let me show them you're working with me. Let me bless you so that they must say, what in the world are you doing? How is it you getting what you getting, driving what you're driving, living where you're living, doing what you're doing? God said, the secret is out, but I'm going to tell you. Oh, y'all ain't only one to tell you. God said, the secret is out, but I'm the one going to tell it. God says, I don't need you to tell it, because you're going to short circuit what's being done. God said, keep giving, keep praying, keep fasting, keep anointing yourself with oil, keep studying, because the secret is about to be out. God says, I'm going to let all men know my hand is on you. My hand has touched your life. Oh, see, I didn't know you knew God like that. You better check yourself. Huh? I ain't just, look, look, look. I ain't just playing the part. Huh? See, he kept talking about the hypocrite. The hypocrite looked like he going somewhere. The hypocrite sound like he going somewhere. But ain't no evidence. God says your evidence. It's about to show up. Yeah, your reward, your sustainment. Yeah. God said, I'm going to reveal the secret. Y'all yeah. yeah. ain't catching this out. Huh? See, if you've been consistent, your secret's about to show up. Yeah. If you've been consistent, your secret, your reward is about to show up. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Glory to God. God says, watch this, don't miss this out the story. God says, I will reward you. What? Openly. Open. Open. Come on. Okay, y'all ain't y'all ain't kidding. There's a blessing that's open. There's a reward that's open and visible. God says, I said, do it in secret. He said, because I want to show them. I want them to know I'm your God. I want them to know. That, why did you think God said, I'm going to prepare a table for you in the presence of your end? What is that? An open blessing. God said, I'm going to make your enemies see my hand on your life. Because everything they did to stop you from praying, you kept praying. Everything they did to stop you from giving, you kept giving. Even when they said pain and your hunger pains was bothering you, but you pressed in. Yes, 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 yes. Even when we said anoint yourself, you did it. Yes. How do you think we got July's blessing if we weren't consistent? Yes. How, did you get, how did you get a $20,000 advance on your job and wasn't consistent? to get a new job and one consistent. Yes, 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 yes. How did money show up in the bank that wasn't there? Y'all don't want to work with me. I said money show up that wasn't there. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Yes. It's the consistency of what you do secretly that God says Here's an open manifestation. Yes. God says, I'm getting ready to touch folks heart. Yes. It's going to touch your life. Yes. I'm getting ready to open doors. Thank People you. purposely close on you. you. And let you walk in my, my, with them standing there. Yes. How do you get here? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because I was doing things secretly. Yes. Yes. You didn't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. I was releasing seeds you didn't know nothing about. Huh? I was praying and you didn't even know I was praying. 
Huh? I will separate myself from things that were, were, were hindering me. See, I refuse to let you be my distraction. Come on. Huh? Because, see, I knew you didn't understand. Right. See, misery loves company. Yes. And what you all got to realize right now, for where God is taking you, and I'm serious when I tell you this, for where God is taking you, everybody can't, can't go, go with, with you. you. Right. Say that, Apostle. Yeah. Can't go with you. And for some of you, that's going to be hard because you got to cut them off. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. You got to separate yourself. Yeah. I pray consistently for God to reveal and expose yes. all your enemies. Yes. Because if you can't deal with an enemy, you don't see. Yes. God, let their eyes see. Let their ears hear. Let them behold. Yes. The Bible says only with your eyes shall you behold the rewards of the wicked. Yes. 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 They ain't so in love with everybody that I trust everybody. Come on. I'm going to go and let you know. You got to learn how to ask God for discernment. Yes, yes, huh? Right. You got to learn how to ask God for discernment. Yes, 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 amen. God, let me see. Why? Why? Why should you see a trap and still step in? Right. Now that's foolish. Yes, it is. If you see a trap and you step in the trap, it ain't the trap, folks. That's your fault. Because you thought the trap would let you go. It's a trap. Come on, y'all. Work with me, work with me. It's a trap. And so what the Bible is saying here, just out of Matthew 6, if you will learn to stay consistent, God said, I'll reward you for All you got to do is doing it. Yeah. All you got to do is get steadfast. Yeah. Go on in 1 Corinthians 15. So many in this season are hindering when they could be progressing. They're hindering themselves when they could be progressing themselves. Stay consistent. Stay the course. Finish strong. 1 Corinthians 15. Pick it up in verse uh, 7. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 7. Look what it says. But thanks be in unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye what? Next. Next. There your word right there. Always about. God says, I want you to always about. I want you to always have as opposed to not having. I want you to always have the ability to as opposed to sitting there having to wait on somebody else. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 But first, you got to be what? Yeah. Yeah. You got to be steady and you got to be fast about it. Okay, let me break that down. Some things you can't sit there and pray about. Come on. Come on, help us. Because while you pray, if you lose it. Yeah. Oh, Pastor, I can't believe you said that. I sure did. <laughs> because certain things you ain't got to pray about when you already know what God has said about it. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Huh? I ain't got to pray about that. God has already given the word on that. Yes, yes, yes. What you're praying about is your willingness to do. Yes. Amen. Did you see that? Watch this, Michael. But if you be willing, it'll be. Willingness should already be self. Because yes. right. right. many times the opportunity comes and presents itself, but while you sitting there praying about it, okay, if the job presents a promotion, and you don't walk through it, you won't give me three days to pray. <laughs> I ain't got time to give you three days to pray. I need somebody in the position. Now, 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 now how 
long you been praying for a promotion? I'm going to help y'all with your religious self. How long you been praying for a promotion and the promotion to come? So what you need to pray some more for? Right. You religious. Right. Ooh, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Jesus. God said you have already asked. Now watch this. God said I already knew what you needed before you asked. Now I done presented it to you and you ready to bag it up. This ain't a season to bag up. It's a season to go forward. Yes, 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 yes. Either you believe it or you don't. Yeah, it. Either you trust in God or you're not. Yeah, right, 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 right. Come on. Bible said, God said, I have no pleasure in them that return or retreat unto perdition. Yes. We are praying about that. Yes, right. See, what you should have did was say, you know what? I knew y'all was going to offer it to me, so go ahead on there. Put my number in. Come yes, on, here, put on my yes, mind. Yes, yes. Uh, ain't no I got that. Ain't no about this. Huh? I know I'm anointed for this. I know I'm qualified for this. I know this my spot. I done already prayed. I've been in the closet. I've been giving toward it. I've been fasting toward it. Don't be like the one when Peter went to prison and they go home and pray and then when Peter shows up, it's a ghost. God said, I ain't ghosting y'all. Come on, come on. Amen. Well, God did with you on it. Huh? God said, I ain't ghosting you in this season. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Huh? This ain't no ghost. It's the Holy Ghost showing up in manifestation of the promise. Oh, yeah. You act, he said, and I move. Yeah, yeah. You made prayer, supplication. You made a request and now I'm answering. Yes. So what are you going to say? He said, so therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, be unmovable, always about in the work of the Lord. And that's the question is, I don't stop doing what God asking me to do just because things are happening. Come on, that's it, that's it. Yeah. What I found out over the years, when God moves, you got to do more. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of times God blesses us and we shut out, we quit. We get into celebration mode. I learned over the years, when God blessing, that's when I go into war mode. Because yeah. yeah. there's an enemy mad because I got what he thought I wasn't going to get. Huh? So I can't turn down, I got to turn it up. Now y'all want to turn it up everywhere else? Huh? You want to turn it up? Well, why don't you turn up more proud? Why don't you turn up more in your giving? Why don't you turn up more in your fasting? Because mm -hmm. the blessing making me turn up. Come on, come on. Y'all don't want to work today. Here's the revelation now. Here's what I mean. This is how we get it. Not how we do it, but this is how we get it. We get it by what we do secretly. Now nobody knows like you what you're doing. That's right. Come on. But if you're doing it and it's working, oh, I'm telling you this morning. Keep, keep on doing it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. That's it. Right. Don't slack up now. Yeah. You too close to harvest season. Yeah. Rose, if it's a 20,000 advancement now, it ain't hard. It could be 50,000 yeah. by the time you get to Harvard. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You don't know what the Lord has in store for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to consistently trust Him. Yeah. The Word has said, what I do secretly yeah. determines what He does openly. Yeah. Yeah. Now watch this here. If that little bit is making it sure, what happens if I do a little bit? Huh? What happens if I just give it all away? Huh? I know you don't say, oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm telling you what works. Huh? I'm telling you, your sacrificing will get you reward. God has to be able to trust you. 
And one of the number one ways you show God you trust him is through giving. That's it, right? That's it. Come on. It's through giving. Look what Cornelius did. The Bible talks about how Cornelius in Acts 10, how Cornelius gave all, he prayed, he, prayed, he did it all. Yeah. What happened? Angels showed yeah. up. What happened? Miracles started happening. What happened? Salvation occurred for the family. What happened? His influence grew. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you all look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. See, you got to use it all. You can't get comfortable with just enough. When we serve God, His name is El Shaddai. You got a Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Do you not understand today that you make God mad when you hear to him? Come on, say that. God's only greatest disappointment is to be disbelieved or unbelieved. Look what he says in Acts 10. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man, one that feared God with all what? With all his house. Yes. Which gave what? Much to the people. Yes. And prayed to God what? Always. That's everything we just talked about. Right. Yes. See, God ain't going to ask you for what's not already been shown and given. So look at this. So the man did it, y'all. Yes, look what he said. First thing started happening. He saw in a vision. You working with me? Yes. What's the first thing that happened to him? God gave him a vision. Yeah, yeah. Your obedience will cause you to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the book. Yeah. He saw in a vision when, after, he did his part. Yeah. See, many times we want God to show us because then you ain't show me. He saw in the vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, as an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, for me. So he had a vision. The angel showed up. But then the angel said, I know your name. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. How many of you would love to hear the angel say, your name? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. We just didn't book quite enough. He says, and when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, look at that. What that verse said? Thou prayers and thou prayers. What happened? Thou prayers and all. Uh-uh, uh-uh, Apostle Taylor prayers. Uh-uh, thou prayers, your prayers. Uh-uh, the, uh, the intercessors prayers. Huh? See, stop calling everybody to pray for you and learn how to pray for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, ain't that wrong with it? But at some point, God ought to hear you. Yeah. The scripture said, Yeah. Pray. So you gotta ask yourself, hmm, when was the last time this week I talked to God? Should have been in the morning. Amen. That's right. Come on. Should have been on the way here. Huh? Look what he said now. It's in the book. He says, and when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, thy prayers, and what else? I come up for a memorial. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to help you this morning. Watch this here. What did that verse say? God went right back to everything we said in Matthew 6 and said, let's check the record. Let's check the record on their communication with me. Let's check the record on their giving. Let's check the record on their willingness to separate from. The Bible said, and it came up as a memorial. In essence, it came up as a reason to be had in remembrance of God. So what? God could move. Yeah. Are you reading? We got five. And now send to Joppa and call for one Simon whose surname is Peter. 
He lodges with one Samuel Tyler who is in the house by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtst to do. He spoke to somebody to bless you. Okay, y'all, I'm going to slow it down. When you do what you're supposed to do, and things like that, God said, speak to that. Because yeah. yeah. I'm going to make that one bless you. Yeah. Yeah. See, God ain't got to speak to everybody. He just got to speak to somebody yeah. about you. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. I don't need 10 million ass in my life. I just need one. That's it. That's it. Y'all yeah. ain't working with me. <laughs> huh? I'm going to leave that long. Y'all ain't ready for me. <laughs> huh? Because the rewards I want is enough. Know. Yeah. Yeah. How greedy are you? Right. Come on. But if God puts two or three more, Come on now. I ain't mad at it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sticking with the book. Yeah. If he speaks to one influential person, Concerning you. That's all you need. Okay. He lodged with one side of Peter. Seven, look at this. And when the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants and, and, and a devout soldier of them that waited on him what? That they were him. See, anybody that ain't consistent in your life, remove them. Okay, y'all don't want to work like him, but I'm going to work with you for a minute. You got to have people around you who you can trust. Yeah, that's it, that's it. The Bible said he sent the one that served him continually. Continue. Now I'm going to mess with you right quick. Two things. Who's continuous in your life and who are you continuous in their life? Okay, so I hear a point right there. Y'all think it. All right, so let's deal with that. Who are you consistently in their life? And who is consistently in yours? And don't tell me everybody, because that's a lie. It ain't everybody. On average, there's only a handful you can put in that spot. Hmm? It's only a handful. Now watch this here. And when the angel of the Lord spake unto him, which was fun, he called two of his household. We read that, verse 8. And when he had declared all things unto him, he sent them to Joppa. And on the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew down to the city, Peter went up on the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry. And when that eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance. He was hungry, but it was more important to fast in the season uh -huh. than it was to eat. Yeah. <laughs> now, look at the ladies to know your season. Know where you at. Look what happened now. And so he went up on the rooftop. Now what's he doing? Praying. Praying. And when he was home, he had whatever he made, made bread and left him into a he fell into a train, left him, and saw heaven open. And a certain vessel descending unto him, and there had been a great knit uh, at the four corners, and let down to the earth, where there were all manner of four footed beasts of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, fowls of the earth. And there came a voice to him saying, Rise, Peter, kill him. But Peter said, not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the voice which spake unto him a second time said, what God hath cleansed, that call not thou unclean. Now let me, let me switch it for a minute. When God is dealing with whoever he's going to use to bless you, typically they are opposite of you. So why God had to deal with Peter was to help Peter understand, Peter, I ain't just using you in your kind. Right. <laughs> Peter, I'm 
get ready to send you to someone who has less than you, but will benefit from you. Not only will they benefit from you, but you're going to benefit from them. It's called mutual benefaction. You're going to bless them, but they're going to bless you too. The need is not the same. The greater, the lesser is blessed by the greater. The need is not the same. Some folks went money. Money ain't they need. Come on, come on. Say it's carried. Come on. Well, you don't have no money, but you got carried. Yeah. Yeah. Mutually beneficial. Yeah. Oh, glory. Come on, God. I can hear you. And so he says, but Peter said, not so Lord. Verse 15, the Lord spoke and said, I think this was done. Verse 16, this was done thrice, and the vessel was received up again in heaven. Now Peter, while Peter doubted in himself what the vision which he had seen should mean, behold, the men were sent from Cornelius' house. See how God can strategically yes. set it up? Yes, set up. <laughs> yes, Lord. Because had Peter not had the dream, he would have dismissed the men. Y'all ain't catching. Who would normally dismiss you when God get through with them and say, come on in. What you need. What you want. You see what I'm saying? See, God ain't just dealing on one end without dealing on the other end. God is strategic in how he gets you blessed. God is strategic in who he uses to get the blessing to you. You just got to stay consistent In the areas he's telling you. So let's drop him down. So Peter goes down. I gotta get through this. So Peter goes down. He sees the men. They tell him what's happening. Peter goes back to the house. And when Peter goes back to the house, it's revealed mm -hmm. that God was moving on this end while he was moving on that end. That God was so wanting Cornelius to be blessed that he broke all rules. Yes. Yes. He couldn't get anybody. He had to bring the right somebody. Yes. Right. See, okay, so let me help you. Be mindful of the right somebody right now. Come on now. Yes. Come on. <laughs> it ain't everybody. It's the right somebody. Yes, come on. It's the person that ain't questioning God. Yes. And what God wants to do. Yes. And how God wants to move yes. on your behalf. And so, let me finish this up. We get 30. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until his hour. What was he doing? Fasting. So you've seen it all through. Yes. He was giving. He was praying. Mm -hmm. He was fasting. He said, four days ago, I was fasting. Four days ago. See what scripture says? Yes. Four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. At the ninth hour, I prayed in my house, mm -hmm. and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothes and said, Cornelius, what happened? That prayer is heard. It's in the book, right? Yes. Keep on reading. And thou art in remembrance in thy sight of God. So everything God just said in Matthew 6. That I'm going to reveal that, that the secret is out. Everything you've been doing, this is what this man did. Your praying is going to show up for you. Your giving is about to show up for you. Your fasting is about to show up for you. You see it? Yes. He says, send therefore the job and call him to Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of Simon the town about the seaside. 
when he come and he shall speak unto me. Immediately therefore I said, now watch this here. Help me with one more thing. Notice what that scripture just said. What's that first word? I just told you a minute ago. Cornelius didn't pray about it. He acted on it. I know y'all don't want to work like that. He didn't pray no more, Rose. He didn't pray no more. He immediately acted on the instruction. God's only going to give you an instruction. You want a miracle, he's going to give you an instruction. But if you don't act on it, I'm just trying to show you that. Okay. Look what he goes on to say. Immediately, therefore I sent to thee, and thou hast well known that thou art what? Come, now therefore we are all present before God to hear the thing, look at this, that are commanded of thee by God. We ready to see what's going to happen. Man, we ready to experience the explosion of God. God has not gone through all of this for no. You haven't shown up for no. We have not given for no. There's something about to happen. Yes, yes. yes Lord. So Cornelius said, my expectation is out, man. Yeah. Huh? I got everybody here mm -hmm. to see what God's going to do. Huh? Because he's going to do it what? Open oh, yeah. All right. He said, then Peter opened in his mouth for the truth. I perceive that God, look at this, y'all. Look what Peter, look what that happened to Peter. Look what that happened to Peter. Because at first, Peter was a respecter of person. Peter said, if you ain't one of us, you ain't none of us. But now Peter has shown up at these four house saying, God has gave me a revelation. He is not, he is not, he is not a respecter of person. And because Peter is serving God and working with God, Peter found out, I can't be a respectful person. God can bless who he wants to bless. Yeah. Yeah. God can show mercy to whom he wants to show mercy. It ain't got nothing to do with your background. Come on. Come on. It's the will of God to get you blessed. Yeah. But notice something. Y'all feel this, that was short here. God used somebody whose thinking was different. Because God's doing a twofold work. He blessing Cornelius, but he's working on Peter. Yeah. Peter, your anointing is greater than what you realize. Sometimes we limit ourselves by the people we know. Come on, say that again. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm going to that That's Peter <laughs> running down that road. To get you on that one. Peter opened his mouth, he said, I perceive God is not a respected person. 35. But in every nation, that fear of him and work of righteousness is accepted with him. Huh? See, because the thing I make happen for you, God makes happen for me. I just can't be a respectful person. Come on, y'all. I'm almost done. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word, I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism of John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. We, we use that verse a lot of times. But the Holy Ghost says, he went about doing good. And Peter goes on into this very discourse. And look at verse 44, drop down. And while Peter was yet speaking, what happened? The Holy Ghost said. While Peter was yet speaking, miracles started happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Signs and wonders started to be produced. Yeah. The spirit, right there, let me hit the right quick. The spirit of God took over. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The spirit of God took over. And then again, began to speak in the tongue. Everybody that was in the house got blessed. Everybody that was connected won that day. Yes, 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 yes. 
because of their faithfulness to do and God's faithfulness to reward. So if the secret is going to be told, let God tell you. What do you need to do? Just do it. Stay consistent. Stay focused on the prize. One of the words he gave, God said, I own the prize right now. I own the prize. Press in. Press toward the mark. See the finished work of God. See God blowing your mind. See God fulfilling every need in your life. And how can you stand confidently on that? Because you know what you're doing. Hmm? Because as confident as you are, is as bold as he's going to be. But I'm saying this is the confidence we have in him. We ask him according to the will. But because I know it's his will, I got that thing. Huh? Watch this here. I know I did my part. I know, watch this. It ain't so much now as I know God is faithful, it's how faithful am I? Yes, that's it. How faithful am I to He that has called me? Huh? Consistency will bring you fruitfulness. He said, subdue. He said, have dominion. Operate in your dominion. Don't get slack. It's increased time. It's time to increase, watch this, in the efforts. Huh? It's time to increase in your efforts. Knowing this, that he is faithful and in front. So does God love to be more than he loves you? The same thing he did for to me. He said, give me opportunity yeah. to do it for you. Yeah. Good game. I'll sign you later.